Welcome back, friends, and today I have this neighborhood I built. Um, happy Halloween, and if you don't celebrate Halloween, I hope you're having a happy Monday, because Mondays kind of suck. Anyways, I built this neighborhood so my sim's gonna go trick-or-treating. Um, there's nothing really too special to it, you just bring your sims here. It's a park lot, so you would just bring your sims here and um, have them walk around and get candy with uh, the candy things from Spooky Day. It's like pretty standard i literally don't know how else to do it so i just chose to do it this way but um i built like an entire little cute neighborhood and i'm pretty sure you can add more to it but mine is pretty basic and i just like built a couple shells of houses that looked good from the outside and, like added like one of those bathroom thingies i don't know what they're called no clue what they're called but i added one <laughs> so your sims can use it so technically this is a park lot but, um, I wish we could be able to make actual neighborhoods. Because I feel like that'd be so fun to have, like, especially for, like, legacy gameplay. And I said that I was supposed to, speaking of legacies, I said I was supposed to have, like, a Let's Play coming. But, um, then I decided to go on, like, a custom content shopping spree. Broke my mods folder, so now I'm, like, re-going through it and, like, getting rid of old stuff I'm not using. Um, <laughs> so that's fun. I'm getting rid of, like, all the old stuff I'm not using and um yeah and i completely decided i didn't want to do the let's play i was gonna do like i it was like the middle of the night and i came up with one while i was like about to sleep really cute though anyways i used terrain tools in this build and i never use terrain tools because i don't know how to use terrain tools no clue i i, I wasn't a very good builder when terrain I, I don't think i'm that good anyways but um when terrain tools came out i was not very like avidly building so i never really learned I still don't understand terrain tools, but I have, like, a basic understanding, you know? Yeah, but I, I've been doing <laughs> a lot of stuff, which is why I have not been uploading, because I have been busy, you know, with school. School's been an absolute nightmare. It has been, it hasn't been awful, but it's been, like, a genuine nightmare. It, 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 there's just a lot, and, like, the teacher keeps assigning work, like, the most random out-of-pocket work. That is completely and utterly unnecessary. Like, literally unnecessary. I don't know. And then I was, like, deciding my next steps after I graduate. So that was kind of fun. Like, I figured out exactly what I want to do and, like, how I'm going to do it. And, like, I've been getting that plan. I've been writing a book. Because, you know, got to have all the extracurriculars and all the hobbies. Um, this uses a lot of packs, I think. I don't remember how many packs it uses, but, um, it uses a lot of packs, so I don't know. Um, I like building realistic things like this. I really do. I, I took the better build by mode out of my game because I built this right after an update came out, but for some reason it's still sorted, so, like, that's really good. <laughs> so I just took a bunch of stuff out of, like, the catalog that I was gonna use, like, lots of stuff. These grates are really cool. I don't know. I still need to finish that massive mansion. I just, I don't know how to furnish it. I really don't. I don't know how to furnish it. And so I haven't yet. But I'm probably going to get along with that once I start my new schedule. Because I decided that I should probably make a schedule for how often I'm going to upload. Because that would probably be very beneficial. So I did end up making a schedule. I'm not going to like talk about it until I, I get it like situated. But I did end up making a schedule. I did end up making a schedule. <laughs> so, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. Also, high school years. It has really good debug, like, signs. Like, really realistic, good debug signs, if you didn't know. And, like, you build, like, realistic lots. High school years added a bunch of really good ones. <laughs> I think for realistic lots and stuff, high school years and get to work have the best stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff. I don't know. I had a lot of fun making this. Just, like, decorating it and pulling stuff out of the catalog. I don't know. There's just lots of fun stuff. I don't know. I've been working on building stuff more. I don't know. I'm trying to finally get, like, my schedule and stuff together. I'm, I'm trying to get it together. But I just... I don't know. Like, I'm trying to get it together. But, like, I just... I'm busy. I'm a busy person, you know? There's just a lot. I don't know. A bunch of people invited me to Halloween parties. 
and like i'm not going because i don't party but like i just find it odd when people invite me places because i don't show up and i don't understand why they keep inviting me like i appreciate the thought but at the same time they know i'm not going to show up i i don't understand it they're they're just like hey lena you want to come to this party and like a random like shack in the desert because like they said me the location i always google it like why am i going to party in the middle of the desert absolutely not especially now that the weather is like changed it was it's been cold and you know it's probably not cold to people who live in places where it like snows but instead of it being like you know a cool 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 80 degrees you know it's been 40 it's been 40 degrees oh my god it's been 40 degrees it has been 40 degrees and it's been so cold and when i go to let my dog out at night oh my god i like i know she has fur but like and she's like a sweater on but i feel bad <laughs> Like, she's probably fine. I guarantee she's probably fine. Because she has a lot of fur. Her coat is very thick. And she has a sweater on. So she's fine. But it's just like, if I'm cold, are you not cold? <laughs> I, I don't know. I It's been really cold. Yeah, so. It's been very cold. I don't know. I just, I don't like when it's cold. I really don't. I genuinely do not like when it's cold. Because I don't like the cold makes my leg hurt <laughs> and i built this a while ago and i'm like adding all types of stuff to it i don't know what neighborhoods look like because i don't really go to neighborhoods i don't know i have lots of fun memories of going trick-or-treating when i was little because me when i was little okay not even when i was well technically i was quite little i was like six that's kind of little anyways but me Okay, for background of this, I did karate for, like, a long time. Like, I was in karate, got a black belt in karate. I was in karate for several years, right? That was, like, my after-school activity. Um, me and my karate friends and my brother and my sister, like, and, like, my grandma, we would go trick-or-treating. It was me, my karate friends, and we all would go to, like, this neighborhood that one of the kids, like, family lived in. Well, like, they didn't live in, like, their extended, like, aunt, I think, lived in there. So we would go trick-or-treating there. Oh my god, they gave out full-size candy bars. Like, it was one of those neighborhoods. And we would bring, like, the little, like, you know the little, like, uh, what are they called? Like, just the basic little, like, candy buckets. The first year, right? But the second year, after we saw how much candy we got, oh, the next year we brought pillowcases. Like, we brought two pillowcases. I filled up, like, two, almost three pillowcases that year. Just that year alone. Oh my god, they used to give out so much candy. And then we would go back to, like, their their aunt's house like that one kid's aunt's house and we would sit there and trade candy it was so fun i don't really talk to any of the kids i did karate with but i remember them all being such fun and like they're not all like good well-rounded humans like i understand like why we're not friends anymore because like we don't really like our lives don't really connect anymore but still they were fun i had fun karate was fun (laughs) and i was not very good at karate and i remember having like anxiety attacks because i was bad oh my god it was it was like i was very anxious because i sucked at karate and like i would cry when i would lose like they would be handing out the medals and i just knew for a fact i didn't get one because i was not good at karate and so i would sit there and i would just i would i would start crying when they were handing out medals and they'd call me up and they'd be like lena and i'd go get my participation medal my little participation ribbon and oh i would cry i would cry and my dad was like, stop crying. Ah. He, he wasn't actually that mean, but he would tell me, he was like, he'd be like, stop crying. Get better and you, you'll get medals if you're better. So um, I have a couple medals. Like I was, I was decent at karate. I was decent. But then I got a concussion and like I couldn't spar anymore. But sparring was the category I took home the most medals in. I don't know. Karate was so fun. So many fun memories. <laughs> I don't know. I, I avidly remember all the random costumes we did. It was just so fun. And back then, I actually bought Halloween costumes. Now, I don't buy Halloween costumes because I don't, like I said, I don't go to Halloween parties or anything like that. I'm just at home. And sometimes I watch, like, scary movies. <laughs> I don't know. Or, like, Halloween movies. I don't know. Sometimes. But normally, <laughs> normally, I just am at home. I don't know. I bought my dog a hot dog costume. My dog. I bought her a hot dog costume so that's gonna be interesting to put her in like i don't have issues putting her in stuff i I never have issues putting her in stuff because she loves her sweaters and stuff i don't know (laughs) 
I love I love stuff like that. I love putting my dog in little costumes. She's so cute. A lot of people want to talk about my dog. They assume she's like some little like Pomeranian sized dog. This dog is like I don't know, a hundred pounds. Like she's massive. Absolutely massive. Like big scary guard dog, you know. I adore her though. I think she's a very good girl. Also, I changed my in-game season to autumn when I uploaded this on the gallery because, you know, Halloween falls in the fall months. And I think it just looks really good. I literally think it looks so good. I think this looks so good. <laughs> on the gallery. I don't remember how many people downloaded it. I don't really pay attention to that. But, like, if you want it, it is on my gallery. If you're like, oh, my God, what she's saying about, like, taking my Sims trick or treating, that sounds so good. It's on the gallery if you want it. <laughs> It's on the gallery if you want to take your sims trick-or-treating i wish there were more mechanics for taking your sims trick-or-treating and i want to build more neighborhoods in the future where i actually go in and furnish the houses but just for like halloween i like the idea of just having this and i might build a different one and just take pictures of my sims in it i meant to make sims for halloween i really did but I was not very good at managing my time, so I did not- I downloaded a bunch of Halloween costumes, though. So I might just make Halloween videos in the middle of July and, like, call it Summerween. That show was so good. Gravity Falls was such a good show. It was such a good show. So I might just make a Summerween. I might just call it Summerween and call it good. I might- I might do it. I might just call it Summerween because I downloaded so many Halloween costumes and I got, like, the cutest little toddler ones. I don't really care for toddlers. And the Sims. I want to make it very clear. I, I don't really I don't really like small children in real life because they're loud and sticky. But in the Sims, I genuinely do not care for toddlers. And with the infants update coming, I'm not sure I'll care for them either. I don't know. A lot of my Sims don't have kids. Like, a lot of my Sims do not have kids. But they're like 20-somethings who live in San Myshuno and who are at the club every other day. I don't know. That's why I think my Let's Play that I'm going to do is going to be so interesting. It's gonna be so interesting. <laughs> oh my god, the phone is ringing. The phone is always ringing. I went to get up to get the phone and someone else got it. <laughs> yeah, but there's lots of fun things. Like my Sims. I don't know. I'm very excited for this Let's Play I'm about to do. And I'm gonna start it as soon as I get my mods folder organized, which will probably be by this weekend. I don't know. It's just hard to get my... And I downloaded a bunch of, like, CC custom content. Um. I don't know. I've been using Twitter a lot more recently. And Sim... Like, the Sims community on Twitter is kind of startling. They're kind of scary. Um. <laughs> it's, like... It's kind of toxic on Twitter. Like, the Sims community is kind of toxic on there. Um. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, interacting with, like, the wrong creators. <laughs> i don't know i don't really like twitter it's it's a scary place <laughs> it's a scary place like when i first downloaded it because i didn't i don't even have like I, I made a personal twitter in september i will not be linking it because that is a private account that has like one follower <laughs> for my personal <laughs> it's it's a personal it's for my personal um <laughs> my personal thoughts so i made a twitter but when i made my like sims twitter because like all the simmers were like oh well if you don't have a twitter you should make one to keep up with the sims news so i was like okay i've been influenced i've been influenced so i made one and oh my god i, I hadn't even started following people yet but i was scrolling and there was like this girl promoting like her only fans and stuff and like you know it wasn't like just like a hey guys subscribe to me she was promoting it bro like she was showing off her goods and i was like ah <laughs> i was like ah i was i was scrolling i did not expect to see that but i did i was like i was scared i was startled i was like ah <laughs> but i ended up following a bunch of simmers and stuff and just random creators so i don't really tweet on twitter i, I mostly like retweet things i don't know sometimes i tweet but it's uh, it's not a lot I, i'm not very i don't understand how to use twitter I feel like an old person because it's just like, I don't understand how to use Twitter. You guys can follow me though. I'm not going to stop you from following me. All my socials are always linked in the description. All of them. Um, I recommend, personally me, I personally recommend following my Tumblr. Or following me on Pinterest because that's where like I get a lot of my CC from. And I'm always like pinning and reblogging 
like stuff I like or stuff I've downloaded. Like if I'm scrolling through either of them and I come across something I've downloaded in the past, I will reblog it or I will um, pin it to my board. So if you're not following me on either of those, you probably should. And you like my CC and want to know where I get it from, you probably should. Yeah. Don't follow me on TikTok though, because I'm not active on TikTok. I don't understand how people make like Sims TikToks every day. I really don't because I I run out of ideas. Like you can only post so many things like before you start running out of ideas. And I end up running out of ideas. I don't know, my dog, she literally never barks. But like when she does, it's literally so loud. She's like, woof, woof. it's literally so loud. <laughs> I don't know. I think she's very cute. She barks sometimes though, and it scares me and startles me. Also, I added pumpkin carving stations. You could probably add a lot of those like fun activity things here. But I just added like a couple of them, like sneaked off into corners, like for like space. So if you want to. You can download this and, like, actually add stuff. I don't know. There's just lots of stuff. And I like the landscaping I did, even though it's very minimal. And I just kind of tossed down a bunch of debug plants. I feel like it's kind of realistic, you know? I don't know. I didn't furnish any of these houses. And I actually end up drawing walls <laughs> by the door so no sims can go in there. Um, Yeah. But you can very realistically download this and just take whichever house shell you want. <laughs> I don't know. There's lots of um things I added. There's lots of fun things. And, like, your Sims. Like, I added that, like, little debug thing. It, it reminds me of, like, the things that you, like, blow up. You know, like, the little inflatable things people have underneath, like, outside their houses on Halloween? I don't know. People out where I live, they don't decorate. So it's just, like, randoms. <laughs> it's just, like, sad. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know. I put these, like, chairs because I remember people sitting in, like, fold-out chairs outside of their house. Like, some people sat inside their house, but a lot of people just sat inside fold-out chairs and, like, a little table. I don't know. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, a lot of, like, decor that I did. Like, I added lots of decoration because I was like, oh, that looks good. That looks really good. I like that. So I just kept adding decorations, like random things I just took out of the build catalog. I don't I've been building lots of stuff in my spare time, but I finally have time today to voice over because I'm not doing anything. And I'm like caught up on all my school, so now I can make Sims videos. <laughs> I don't know. I've been very productive with a lot of stuff recently. Very, very productive. I don't know. This video is like almost over. I have to add windows on all the houses, though. I think I just used Seasons windows on all the houses. I don't think I changed it. I don't think I used anything but Seasons. I love Seasons. I think it's a good pack. There's better packs, but I think Seasons is good for what it is. And I like their windows. I feel like Seasons windows are very versatile. I think they're very versatile windows, you know, and they don't get, like... I don't know. I feel like Seasons and Cats and Dogs are a pack that mix very well together. I just added a bunch of random windows. I was just like, oh, that looks good. That looks good. Toss a couple windows on there. But here I am just like moving the landscaping over some. I don't know. It's not meant to be too, too detailed. It's just meant to be like, oh, well, I'm going to take my Sims trick-or-treating. And it's for story storytelling purposes. This is not like supposed to be an actual functional lot. I mean, your Sims can come here and get candy, but overall it's not supposed to be too, too functional. I don't know. It's not supposed to be too, too functional, but it's functional enough. So, your sim's gonna come here and get candy. I tested this, because I didn't think it would work, so I tested it with Olivia Spencer Kim Lewis. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in, like, passing before, and, like, I'm sure I've mentioned this in a speed build before. But the Spencer Kim Lewis family, right? You know them, their base game. They live up there behind, um, who do they live behind? What is that? I don't think anyone lives in that house. But they, like, live up in, like, the corner of the map. I've been using them for playtesting. Anytime I need to see if something works, I literally get Vivian or Olivia. <laughs> Never Eric or Alice or Dennis. Literally Vivian or Olivia. No in-between. <laughs> like, I was testing out the base mental mod. I already knew, like, I just want to make sure I, 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 
I've already had this basement in my game before, but I wanted to make sure I had installed it properly and it was working. So I made, I, I made Vivian, Vivian Spencer Kim, Vivian Lewis, her, her name, last name's not Spencer Kim, it's Vivian Lewis. I made her test it out for me. And I was having the time of my life. I also made her test out extreme violence. And my grandparents walked, my, my grandpa and my dad, they literally walked around. They're like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I'm just testing out this this thing for my game. And they um they witnessed Vivian Spencer Kim Lewis abuse a bunch of random people <laughs> at my roller rink that I built. <laughs> because <laughs> that's just like what I, it was. That, was. that was how it was. That was literally how it was. <laughs> I don't know. I've been doing a lot of fun stuff. And I was going to make fun Halloween videos, but I just ran out of time. So I'll probably make those in, like, June. I don't know. I want to be someone who makes Halloween videos in the middle of, like, June or July. That just seems so fun to me. I don't know. I feel like these, these houses aren't very detailed, but they're detailed enough, you know? They're detailed enough. There's enough detail. But here I am just adding, like, a couple more candy, candy things and, like, a couple more requirements... Like, I just added, like, that monkey bar set back there, but it's, like, fenced off, so no one can access it. But it just, it fits so well, so I added it. I added, like, a chess table, and then I add, um, one of those, I don't know what they're called, but it's, like, one of those bathroom things that come, one of them comes in, like, every pack. I don't remember what they're called, though. But there I am, like, changing the roofing. <laughs> I don't know. There's, and I add, like, some flooring on, like, the porches. And then I add, like, one of these. I don't know what they're called, but that's all. Have a good day. Do something productive. Bye. I don't know. There's just, I like these little seasons things. I used a lot of seasons and spooky, spooky day, spooky stuff. It's something like that. Anyways, but I don't recommend following me on, like, tiktok or instagram because i don't really post like i'm very inactive but like definitely follow me on like twitter <coughs> you should follow me on twitter you know it would be a good use of your time to follow me on twitter and follow me on the gallery because a lot of the builds i post on the gallery are stuff i've built in my free time that never see the light of day they've never seen the light of day so if you just want like a rare build that i didn't post a speed build of you should follow me on the gallery because <laughs> it's random there's random builds that I've built that, um, you know, never see the light of day. Never get viewed on my YouTube channel. I don't know. I Sometimes I'm just like, I, I filmed this and it came out wrong, but I'm still going to upload it to the gallery anyways. So yeah, it's on the gallery if you want it. This is on the gallery too if you want it. My family is being loud. So if you hear them, pretend like you don't. <laughs> anyways... I'm gonna start a Black Widow challenge. I don't know if I said that. I, I'm pretty sure I just kept kept it vague and was like, I'm gonna start a Let's Play. It's gonna be a Black Widow challenge. Speaking of Black Widows, I often see them. Like, they're, Black Widows are very common where I live. Like, Black Widows, like, y you just find them walking around outside. And, like, scorpions and stuff, too. And, like, random scary creatures. Like, millipedes and centipedes. Millipedes and centipedes. Oh my god, there's lots of scary creatures outside. And, like, my dogs, they're very scary. They bark. My dog, she barks, and it's literally so scary. Because she, like, doesn't bark. Like, she barks, but, like, 